Our adjacent angles with sides that are opposite rays. All right. So to answer this question, the first thing we need to understand is what exactly are opposite rays? Right? How, what are opposite rays? So what we need to do is try to see if we can remember. Daryl, do you remember opposite rays? What opposite rays were? Do you remember what a ray was? It's all right. Take a little second. A, do you remember what opposite rays? Does anybody remember opposite rays? Anybody remember a ray? A ray? A ray is a line that, it, uh, well, a line that extends from a point in one direction. Very good. So if we were talking about a ray, OK, so what's opposite rays? Collinear. Well, so what that means is, so if here's A, here's B, if I have a ray over here, that means point C also has to be on the same line. So opposite rays are collinear. What that means, Keith, is they create a line. All right? So all I'm asking you to do is when I say, hey, it's a linear pair, that means I have adjacent angles that are on a line. So let's go and look at our example and our non-example. Does this example, you see our two angles. Are these two angles adjacent? Do they share a point, which we call the vertex, and do they share a line? Yes. Yes. You could say they angle one and angle two both share this line, which I'll maybe just call it AB. Right? They share that line AB. Now, are they also, are the other sides also opposite rays? Yes. Are these two rays opposite? Yes, we could, we didn't. Say, I didn't give you any points, but you could say, yes, those two lines create, or these two points create a line. All right? Other question? No? OK. So therefore, this is our example of a linear pair. So we're going to say that angle 1 and angle 2 are a linear pair. Now, let's go and look at. This other example, see if that's an example or a non-example. What did I ask you to do? Yeah, I want you to keep it there. So what we have is we have example, we have one and two. Let's look at these. Do these share a common vertex? Do they share a common side? Yes, right? They share this side. Let's call this C. They share the line AC or the ray AC, right? But do their other sides create a line? Are they opposite rays then? No, so this is going to be a non-example. So measure of angle one, or angle one and angle two are not a linear pair. OK? Yes? Um, can I go on the lateral place where I get the midpoint point? Mm, oh. Um, x1 plus x2.